What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be reviewing the NECA Fugitive Predator. Finally, finally, finally acquired this figure. Um, I ran into it unexpectedly yesterday at Target. Um, if you watched my toy hunt from yesterday, you will see that I came across this thing in there. Um, had to pass it up. The, I never had this one. Somehow I never had this one. I only had the Thermal Vision one. Um, yes, I know it's not the best Predator movie. Gets a lot of hate. Um, like I said in my Toy Hunt video, um, it's not nowhere near it's on my list of favorite Predator movies. But I do like the cast in it. I think they're hilarious. The comedy is funny as hell. I like the Predators. I like the Predator Hounds. Um, yeah, the movie just kind of, I have my, I have my gripes with the movie just like everybody else, but I do, I do watch it here and there. It's, uh, it's part of the, uh, it's part of the Predator world now. And, uh, like I said, I love the, the, the group of guys in that movie are freaking hilarious. And it's some of the stuff they say and, oh man, I, it, I laugh, but uh, I do really like the Fugitive Predator, so I'm happy to finally add this one to my Predator collection. Needed to be done, and uh, finally doing it. So uh, let's get right to this. Let's flip you guys around, and let's get this thing out of this box. I'm excited. All right, so like always, before we uh, start digging into this thing, we're going to take a look at the packaging. Um, this is a little... Um, out of all the uh, NECA Predator boxes, this is probably my least favorite design. It's, I mean, yeah, it's just simple and straight to the point. It's just, like, their other boxes, they got such beautiful artwork on them. And they kind of, I don't know what, what they were going for on this, on this one. It's not a big deal because, you know, the figure is the most important part. But, uh... Uh, I, yeah, it's not horrible. I just, I really, I prefer the, uh, the nice artwork that, you know, like the other ones we get, but you get the predator on the side. There he is really dark, almost just a silhouette of him. Uh, fugitive predator, ultimate action figure, 17 plus. If you're not 17, you cannot touch this figure. Don't try it. Your hands will fall off. So, uh, it's just a warning throwing it out there. Do not touch this if you're under 17 years old. Your hands will fall off. Anyways, now we go to the spine of the figure. Uh, our box. Pretty cool. Same as the front. Here is the back. The Predator. Fugitive Predator. Predators have been genetically evolving themselves to be stronger, smarter, and more lethal than ever before. When a young boy accidentally activates a mysterious alien device and becomes the target... Of these enhanced predators, only his father and the most unlikely ragtag band of crazy ex-military agents can save him and the human race from obliteration. And uh, that's those group of guys I was telling you about. I think they're hilarious. They, If, if they did one thing right, they got the comedy right. There are some uh, promo shots of the fugitive predator himself. Pretty cool. Everything he comes with, two interchangeable hands, two inter interchangeable forearms four interchangeable hands four wrist wrist blades and articulated shoulder cannon and i said hands instead of heads so you get two interchangeable heads um and we get that and we get to the bottom of the package there's everybody that worked on this figure line there is the barcode might still be useful to somebody see now this is a very misleading box on the bottom it says zero to three you cannot touch this but then you come to the front and it's 17 plus so which one is it NECA I'm gonna still go with 17 because this was a rated R movie so but zero to three year olds it's your hands must not fall off you must just obliterate now all right anyways let's get back when we flip her open get a nice product shot of the fugitive predator himself pretty sweet and then you get that window with everything, and he looks good. So, uh, without further ado, let's crack this bad boy open. 
right out of the package he looks great one thing i noticed right off the bat completely new sculpt he's very updated um paint apps are great he's definitely like the most advanced predator out of all the predators so far in the whole predator universe uh, but before we get too much into that go over the accessories real fast so you get the unmasked head sculpt and it looks phenomenal um if you can see that the paint job on it is just beautiful um i for being a retail level figure i just it, they do amazing work um i don't know how you could talk crap about that it looks beautiful i mean it's phenomenal Every dread is individual. Um, the one one thing I could have asked for is more mandibles, but I think they just started doing that with the uh, feral hunter, so it would have been cool. But it's all right. I mean, I'm good with a masked and a, a unmasked. I'm probably going to use the mask on this one because I lo I really do like the mask on him. Um, we get an extra pair of forearms and then you get the open hands. Again, they look great. The paint apps on them are amazing. I love how they got the shine right, everything. They just, they look really good. Um, just, they do such a good job. And then you get four wrist blades for his gauntlets. For being an ultimate, you really don't get much. It's kind of disappointing. Um, I, when I when I get an ultimate figure, I expect like you pretty much expect a bunch of accessories. So it's kind of a letdown that you really don't get anything, no weapons or nothing. But uh, let's move on to him now. So. Uh, here he is. I just, I think he looks great. Um, the, the detail work on him looks amazing. Like you can, like the mesh reminds me of like some medieval chain link. You got like this kind of like a soft rubber. Really cool. Kind of tucks, tucks under his loincloth area. Got some discs hanging there. Here's his gauntlets. I think he looks really good. A light up feature would have been cool on him, but I, I mean, I get it. really does just look great though get the money shot gotta have the money shot even his uh his like thigh armor these are these are actually loose like you could take these off if you wanted to i i just pulled them up and made them tighter but he is definitely the most advanced out of all the predators if you can't tell and like i was saying the new sculpt even the feet brand new sculpt Looks really good. Double jointed elbows, double jointed knees. I guess we can go over the articulation a little bit. Uh, you're not getting much with the head. You you get you get pretty pretty restricted with the dreads and his armor and stuff. Um, with the shoulder pads, you're probably not going to get much out of those. Probably a good idea maybe to heat him up a little or some warm water too. But then you have the double jointed elbows. So you'll be able to damn near you'll be able to touch his face. You got the two elbows. Then you got the ab crunch. And you get you get a pretty good pretty good movement on him side to side 
So you can get some, you probably get some pretty good dynamic poses. I mean, it's not going to be no SH figure arts or nothing, but for a NECA Predator with some a lot of restriction, that's pretty good. And of course, you get the uh, ball socket hips. Move very nicely. You almost got like a little ratcheting to them. You got the double jointed knees. Maybe a little restriction because of all his armor. Again, a hot water bath would do him good. And then, oops. And then you got the ankles. So then you got the rotation. Pretty good articulation on him. I'd say he's probably one of the better ones. Maybe just get out a little bit. He stands very well. Very well. Let's bring in the uh let's bring in all the uh the alphas here. We got the P1. We got the P2. And we got the new feral. All the big dogs. I don't have the super preds in here. I got to get those out. But uh here's all the rest of them. So size-wise, he's a little taller than the P1. He's probably around yeah, he might be a little he's a little taller than than the P2 too. He's up there with the uh with the uh feral. They all look great together. I mean, look at it. All the legends. I'd like to hear from you guys, though. How, how do you guys feel about the uh, Fugitive Predator? How do you feel about the movie? I know it's a lot of a lot of people give it a lot of hate, and uh, I guess some of it's deserved. But uh, I'd really like to hear from you guys. Um, let me know in the comments. What do you guys feel about the Predator and uh, the Fugitive Predator, the Assassin Predator? I, I I love the Predators. I love the comedy, like I said. Movie's not that great, but uh, I'm it enter, it's entertaining to me, and I, it's it's one that I I still do continue to watch. But I am also a huge Predator fan, so uh, let me know, let me hear what you guys think. But that is the NECA Ultimate Fugitive Predator. I think he looks great. There's not much I would change about him. I think. Uh, I would definitely want some more mandibles. That would be cool. Um, some more weapons would have been great. But uh, I think he's a great looking figure. Definitely worth having in your collection. I mean, if you're a predator collector, you gotta have you gotta have them all. But uh, there he is. I think he's a uh, he's a nice looking figure. So I hope you guys enjoyed the review. Make sure you guys hit that like button. It really helps me out. If you are not subscribed, think about subscribing. 60 some percent of you aren't subscribed. So let's get those numbers up. And uh, thanks for watching. And I will see you guys next time.